Hello guys, I'm Paul from Worldwide Test Consultants. Uh, today I am going uh, to make you learn about test ng framework and I'll be running some sample tests on it. First, um, uh, the prerequisite for this uh, video is uh, to download and install Eclipse, download and install Java and uh, install Maven using the Eclipse marketplace. So let's create uh, then i will be explaining you um, how to create the maven project and then um, creating a sample test ng class and um, basically configuring the web driver and then providing some functional test on my website um, and then checking the results thereon so let's start uh, just open your eclipse and um, we i will run through the complete step-by-step um, -step process um, of running the test ng framework so just right click on uh, the project explorer and select uh, a maven project so uh, what we will do is uh, we'll create a simple Maven project and hit on next. Here, provide a, a com dot uh, test ng, whatever name you would like. Um, uh, it's the same you can use as an artifact ID and then hit on finish. You can see that uh, one. Uh, sample maven project is now created now we have a, a pom.xml which has uh, which is currently empty uh, that's fine and uh, now we will try to build a um, test ng uh, class so just right click on this project and select others and then a test ng class So let's create this class um, and uh, mention the uh, package name as uh, we can mention a default. Uh, let's create a, the class before and with uh, before and after class annotations and finish it. You can now see that uh, uh, there are compilation errors. Uh, I mean, uh, the project is not set up. We need to install uh, test ng uh, libraries. Um, so you can use uh, that from your POM file. Uh, you can just mention the test ng library over here. Uh, let's uh, find those libraries. We just need 7.3.0 as the dependency uh, for test ng. I'll copy that and uh, I'll mention these uh, details in my website. Let's save this. Uh, once you save, it will um, create the Maven, uh, all the jars required, and the all the dependencies required for test ng framework. Once you have done this, um, now you can see your new test uh, is already to be executed. You can execute this by just uh, running as a test ng test. So you can see now uh, the test ng uh, tests are ready for the execution and uh, it has executed uh, and the first test uh, which is not executing anything basically it's uh, just to run and check uh, whether um, this, the um, this this particular um, uh, test uh, suite is working fine so uh, what we will do now is we will configure selenium in this uh, project and try to run some basic functional testing on my website. Uh, for that, we will 
now require the selenium libraries so i will just get that dependency as well you can get those dependencies from uh, maven repo uh, that i have mentioned in, your, in the previous video when i was explaining the ga unit so i'll first of all just copy the selenium dependencies and hit on save so i hope now it has uh, downloaded all the libraries required for um, the selenium part as well so now i will uh, try to initialize the driver um you can uh, can see my previous videos about uh, this, this particular coding I will mention a public uh, web driver um, public static web driver variable and uh, I will try to use this uh, this driver and all the uh, so you can use open open key selenium web driver and uh, in the before class i will basically initialize the chrome web driver so uh, first of all set the system property uh, system dot get properties property um, and mention it as uh, chrome driver dot chrome dot driver I mentioned the path of your chrome driver which um, which is my I've stored it in my download uh, folder I'll just go and pick that uh, so I will use my previous code um, where I have uh, mentioned my driver let's uh, uh, do this again let's use this uh, this is my source where my chrome driver is saved so we will mention this path now uh, we will we will set this driver to the chrome web driver driver equals to new Chrome driver and import this as well. Now, in the testing side, um, I will again invoke my website, which is worldwidetestconsultants.com uh, using driver.get command. Uh, so use www dot world wide test consultants consultants dot com and uh, close this all set so now the next part is uh, in the previous video just I've told uh, like we will be hitting the about page uh, so I will use the same about page um, I will cl click the about page using the anchor tag it was the example mm, and I mentioned uh, it did my test So this was the X path that we uh, used to uh, to click on my web website about page. So you can use the same thing. Um, I will again explain you. Uh, once you are on the website, you when I went, uh, this is the operation to click on this about um, anchor, um, and it will open this particular page so uh, when we do the inspect on this particular uh, about you will get uh, this particular 
uh, export from if you copy the export uh, this is the same export string that we are uh, trying to use here so right now uh, I will use that one and uh, we will click that particular um, tab and then um, I will again assert um, on the basis of um, the web, uh, web page title and we can use the same assert so this assert equals will uh, get the driver dot uh, get and uh, get title on uh, the current title of the um, the web page uh, after clicking on the about tab and we can assert this and we can uh, this is going to basically pass the test case once this all operations are done so we are all set now and we can run the uh, test ng test case uh, with the help of uh, we we have configured selenium, selenium uh, with chrome web driver um, and we can run the test now So web driver dot system property is said okay. Yeah, I I have to use this particular property. We can mention this over here and we will run it again. So just right click on the test and run it as a test ng test. The path will driver we must set by web driver dot chrome driver system property. Which is correct I believe. Mm. Okay. Let me uh, pause this video and try to uh, configure this properly I will just uh, pause this for now yes yeah, so um, we have to just mention it as a set property I was earlier doing a get one so just make it set uh, and then we can run the test again so just uh, running it and now you are able to see that uh, a chrome browser is opening and it is hitting my website and it is clicking on about about tab which is an anchor tag and it is finishing the test so you can see the uh, test case is passed and you can see the test uh, test engine results over here so yeah it took 9, nine seconds 9.4 seconds to run this test so the ne next step uh, would be now to um, con configure the test ng.xml file so uh, we want to run this as a suit and uh, for that we require the test ng.xml file uh, configured um, so just click on right click on the project and uh, create a new file we'll name it as test ng.xml and hit on finish you can see that a blank test ng.xml file is created now now what we will do is um, we we have to mention this test suite uh, using an xml format uh, which is uh, current I, I, I currently save those information in my website so go to my website and uh, go to the tutorial section which test ng so you can see this xml um test ng xml here so i'll be posting uh, this this video in this particular section uh, later so i will just copy and paste this particular xml um, so you can see that you have to mention uh, the suit name uh, the test name uh, and this the, for this particular test uh, we can uh, mention any 
any test name uh, which is suitable for your test and uh, this is the place where you mention the class name which will execute so um, for me the the test name the class name is class name is new test only so we have mentioned this new test dot java uh, this new test will get picked uh, and it will run uh, as a test name called test uh, test basic and uh, our suit name is practice suit so we use this particular format um, to uh, for the, um, the test ng suit to run uh, basically we have to uh, if you are running this uh, test ng framework from the command line we will have to use the test ng xml file and uh, the path of this uh, so now you have to configure the your run configuration to uh, we will configure it to the test ng test uh, and mention as a new test and just run it so you can see that it is again running the test using the xml file and it will basically pass test case after uh, validating the um, the web page title so this test is passed um, now the next time when you run this uh, it will mention this as a test ng suite because we have already uh, configured the run configuration uh, if you run this it will follow the same path and it will try to execute and run the you run your test and pass it so yeah pretty much we are done with the test ng framework so the last part is uh, obviously you can ex uh, include um, in the after class you can mention driver dot quit once the test is passed you can just quit the session the chrome session uh, we will just run it again to check if um, everything is working correctly you can see this uh, web browser will close once the test is done and it has closed everything is running fine so yeah uh, so this was one of the test uh, to configure um, the um, test ng using maven um, folder structure and uh, this is how we have to configure it's a bit tricky i know but uh, we were able to complete this uh, session uh, so um, please uh, like and subscribe to, to the video um, i hope you will like like my video for test ng framework that i have explained and this is paul uh, signing out from test worldwide test consultants have a great day see you soon bye for now